Hi, and thanks for logging on to the Daily Devar Halacha. And here's a brand new Halacha for you, and it's for Monday, the 7th day of September. Here we go. Now, starting the laws of Sukkot, I know there's still a, mm, like three weeks to go, but there's a lot, a lot of laws we have to pack in. First of all, to any of you who are beginning or have begun building your Sukkah, watch out for this horrible pitfall, which could make your entire Sukkah be... Uh, invalid even though everything's just sitting there looking right and you would never know that because things are made out of order the sukkah is improper. Here's an example. God says when you build the sukkah, he says tasa, sukkah, that you should make tasa, you should make a sukkah for yourself. When he uses that word make the sukkah for yourself, the Gemara deduces that this means velo min he'asui, make the sukkah for yourself but don't have the sukkah be made for yourself. What does that mean? Um, how could this possibly happen? What's the difference between making the sukkah of yourself and how the sukkah be made for yourself? Here's a classic example. could happen to someone, and it would ruin the sukkah, even though when you'd look at it, you wouldn't see the problem. Let's say you had someone, and I hope this doesn't apply to you, uh, put up the frame of their sukkah, uh, just the poles and everything, and they were sitting there all beautifully. Their choice was now... Um, Let's say, should I do the walls next? Nah, let's do the schach first. And he puts up the schach, okay? So he put up the schach. The schach went up on a sukkah that didn't exist because it was just frame and no walls. And then after the schach was up there, then he put the walls all around the schach underneath them, you know. Then he put up the walls, in other words. He did schach, then walls. Believe it or not, that could ruin the sukkah. Because God says, Tasa, make your sukkah into a kosher sukkah. Don't have your sukkah be made into a kosher sukkah. Well, that's what just happened. You had your sukkah be made into a kosher sukkah because look what you did. You put the schach on in a way that was improper. There was no sukkah there. And then it became made into a sukkah when the walls went up underneath it. That would ruin the sukkah. You have to, in that regard, do the sukkah in the proper order. So the walls have to go up first, and then the schach has to go up after the walls are there. I'll give you another example of how this pitfall could happen to you. Um, it sort of applies to me, but I, I'm careful to not get stuck in the snag. I make a sukkah cover for my sukkah, you know, the kind that you could uh, cover the sukkah over for rain situations, and I actually put that up before my schach because I want to tinker with it and everything while I'm putting it up, and, uh, and then later I put up my schach. Well, if I were to leave that sukkah cover on that would be key, and slip the schach underneath the sukkah cover, and then later lift the sukkah cover, then I just fell into that pitfall again. Because I, uh, the sukkah wasn't kosher, the schach wasn't kosher when it went on, it was min ha'osu, it became made kosher after the sukkah cover was lifted off, and that's the wrong order. So a guy like me who makes the sukkah cover first, that's fine, but you must open the sukkah cover up, and when it's open, then put the schach on. Then if you want to reclose it to you know, protect against rain, fine. But the main point is that when the schach goes on, there has to be a kosher situation there, not with a cover on top of it. So i got to open my sukkah covering and then slip on the schach. So bottom line, I hope I haven't confused you. You have to make your sukkah such that the schach goes on in a kosher way. Last example of this would be a guy who drags growing branches, still attached to a tree, has them slide over the, the sukkah, so it looks all beautiful, schach's over his sukkah, and then someone says, but it's still attached to the tree, so he says, oh, okay, I'll just snip it. But he snipped it, and so it became usui, it became made through that side maneuver after the snip happened, not proper. You'd have to snip them off the tree first, and then put them on. Kind of means that the schach has to go on in order, such that the sukkah becomes kosher when the schach goes on. That's today's law. Thanks for logging on. Log on again tomorrow for more. Bye-bye.